So are we seeing the start of the actual bull run or is this just a trap? Oh, let's dig in to everything crypto. Let's do it. So we're going to start here then on coin market cap. The total market cap of crypto globally is up a whopping 7.78% at the time of recording. That's the last 24 hours. Now stands at 262 trillion dollars with bitcoin at $71,000 up 5.74% in the past 24 hours but a whopping 15.04% in the past 7 days and we've got ethereum with godlike candles up 27.87% in the past 7 days but a whopping 19. 46% in the past 24 hours now stands at 3,713.58. Look, this is monstrous stuff when it comes to cryptocurrency. This is the reason why, you know, it's one of the best financial instruments for short, medium, and long-term investments, in my opinion. But you've got to know what you're doing, and that is why you should subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you enjoy this sort of content, and let me know your thoughts and opinions on what we're seeing in the crypto market. I do believe that we are seeing the signs that Ethereum, at least from a speculative kind of viewpoint, is on the verge of getting an approval for a bit uh, for a Bitcoin spot ETF and Ethereum spot ETF. Uh, something that I talked about before we got the approval for the Bitcoin spot ETF. So if you know where this market's heading, then you know you can make some really big money. Now, following our channel, you would have known that you know we're on the cusp of potentially seeing an Ethereum spot ETF. Now I'll give you a bit of alpha. We expect to roll into other altcoins. Now, a lot of people say that this is impossible, it's unlikely to happen, but trust me. This is something, in my opinion, is inevitable, is going to happen. There's even, you know, some funds that already exist with other altcoins. Uh, Grayscale have a, um, like a staking fund, right, with lots of different altcoins where they have staking. So for me, this is just a sign that we will roll into the likes of Chainlink, XRP, Cardano, Solana, and various other altcoins over time. Now, I know that there will be people in the comments telling me I'm wrong, I'm always wrong, but you know, I'm probably one of the most accurate people when it comes to predicting cryptocurrency. Back in 2019, 2020, we predicted the AI surge that you're seeing today. We talked about everything being tokenized and on the blockchain. You're hearing BlackRock talk about that now. We've also, for the last, I don't know, 24, 12 months uh, plus, been talking about compliant privacy you're starting to see this as a new narrative and you want to be jumping on we have a private sale for galactica network if you don't know who they are go research it jump in our free discord link in the description of this video stop falling behind and losing money in crypto there's no need follow along and uh, we support you be successful in the crypto space okay so bitcoin surge is over seventy one thousand dollars as ETH, uh, etf hopes lead to 260 million dollar in short liquidations obviously it went as high as four thousand dollars a uh, token for, for ethereum or a coin so look really cool stuff and i think you know we need to be keeping an eye on everything that's happening in this crypto market because it is volatile both to the downside and to the upside right and we have been telling people that you shouldn't have been buying the top we had the big pullback down which we were calling, we were telling, we, yeah, we were told we were wrong, but we, you know, were telling people you don't really want to be buying Bitcoin at its all-time high, right? You want to be waiting for the pullback. It's inevitable. It will happen. It's happened, and you know, people were buying it up. Uh, you know, in our Discord, they've done really well out of it, right? Uh, bullish Bitcoin sentiment issued by um, Samson Mo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Omega coming uh so this is basically talking about a huge candle uh for for bitcoin right and um you know we see it reclaim 71 i think we, we will see higher uh highs for bitcoin let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below we see bitcoin inflows hit 942 million dollars as investor confidence grows look i'm not sure where 
the growth is coming from like i guess i'm trying to think of the right words i i'm i'm struggling to understand where the confidence is coming from all of a sudden like you've got this massive pull to the downside but then all of a sudden you know confidence is growing like why was it not there for for a period of time really interesting movements in the market it does make me feel that it is very manipulated uh we've got ethereum jumps 18 percent after shock etf announcement so look this is um an announcement if we can find the tweet here um where we go uh similar uh similarly uh if the sec were to approve the etf it could favor uh present for cryptocurrencies and encourage a broader adoption of crypto etfs that you know um i've kind of been on record saying that i'm expecting the ethereum spot etf to be rejected um you know at, at least initially before it's then uh, approved later i think it's inevitable they will be approved but maybe i'm wrong maybe it's going to get approved you know right off the bat you know there's some big players you know blackrock grayscale and various others they all want it uh, and they normally, you know, are used to getting what they want. So maybe it's going to happen. And again, there's talk, right? It doesn't matter if it's a security, right? If it's classed as a security, Ethereum's classed as a security, they're still going to do an ETF on it, right? So it doesn't matter this security, non-security aspect of things. It's irrelevant, right? The big players, they're going to be getting in whether it's a security or not, right? So, you know, that's only going to keep out, you know, scum like me, right? And, um, you know, potentially others that, you know, are just retail investors. XRP whales, uh, buying spree, heightens rally, uh, um, anticipate for new AI crypto. Look, there's um, some, some really interesting stuff, right? Uh, XRP whales buying spree. Like XRP is one that, you know, could see a godlike candle, right? Because it has the clarity, right? Settlement potentially on the cards i've kind of said i kind of expect the the settlement just because then you can you know go have your um your cake and eat it right from a a, a ripple xrb perspective but time will tell so we've got grayscale uh ceo steps down and we've got um the um goldman sachs uh executive um you know, replacing him uh, for some reason. It's uh, not letting me uh, show you that website. But, um, you know, look, uh, I think it's great to see um, some some movements when it comes to some of the senior positions in some of these big institutional companies. Um, but, you know, we need to be keeping an eye on this. Why are these people moving? Are they, you know, getting better job offers elsewhere to, to start up funds? Are there or is their knowledge being uh, exploited perhaps by others that are looking to get a leapfrog over um the the likes of grayscale it's really interesting stuff but look for me you know it's really important that people you know in our community are successful in cryptocurrency do join us in the free discord link is in the description of this video stop you know falling into the trap of following some of these moon boys um that will tell you, you know, the markets go into the moon you best get in now it's nonsense uh, we've got a very good proven track record here at Cheeky Crypto of finding hidden gems, giving you the best opportunity to get involved early into these projects to maximize your gains. And, you know, we've got some fantastic predictions that we've had throughout the bear market and bull market uh, that we're heading in, right? So yeah, look, be successful. Join us in the free Discord. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.